if you've ever eaten any of the broccoli or other cruciferous vegetables and you've had that really sulfury taste or that smell, um, well, that's actually part of that inactive compound that we're interested. So these are called glucosinolates. They have some glucose in them. They've got some sulfur. They've got some other bits. And this is an inactive compound that's just hanging out in that plant waiting for that insect to come in and prey upon it. So anytime that insect um, or us, if we start chewing some raw broccoli, will release that inactive compound from the cells in that plant. We'll also release this enzyme that the plant makes called myrosinase. And when you've got your inactive compound and your plant enzyme and you shake up your little biochemical cocktail, it produces what's called an isothiocyanate. Um, the particular one that we're in is sulforaphane, which is a much easier word to say. So we're really interested in sulforaphane because insects don't like it. And for some reason, because biology is just wild and wonderful, sulforaphane acts as an anti-inflammatory for us and other mammals. 